Well, the reason this scripture is so powerful and has impacted my life so much is that it starts off by Jesus saying all power was given to him in heaven and earth. Uh, that alone excited me. Wow, somebody with all power in heaven and in earth. And I just wanted to see if I could follow what that scripture was saying. And by default, I was hoping, expecting, believing, wishing for the blessings that would come after it. And Jesus came and spoke to them saying, all authority has been given to me in heaven and earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you, even until the end of the age. Amen. In 1997, I was employed as a regional sales manager for British Telecom's Win Back campaign. And our job was to recruit as many people into the sales force as possible to hit, obviously, sales targets. Anyway, I was interviewing and I had a list of people to see and the first person came in. He was a little bit nervous. I was a bit nervous because I was really doing something I didn't really want to do that day. He sat down, we asked a few questions, you know, what we call the pleasantries of an interview. Then all of a sudden I felt an unction come upon me to ask him if he wanted to receive Jesus as his personal friend and saviour. I was remembering the commission that Jesus had said, go into all the world and preach the gospel. For a split second, I thought, my gosh, what have I done? And then, to my surprise, he answers, yes, I want Jesus now. The honest truth is he went down on his knees and stuck his hands straight up in the air. He prayed the salvation prayer. At that point, he got up and, thank God, he got baptised a few months later. Anyway, I was getting ready for the next interview. I was on a high, running around the room, just like, I didn't know who to talk to, who to tell. Wow, I felt fantastic. Finally, I was doing Jesus' commission. And the next person came in, his name was Ebby. He sat down and I thought, can it happen again? Can I say it again? So guess what? I said exactly the same thing as I did in the first interview. And he said he wanted to receive Jesus there and then as his personal friend and saviour. We prayed, he got baptised a few months later. And from then on, I've just been using that scripture as the thing that's impacted me so much. Go into all the world and preach the gospel and baptise them in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. And Jesus said he would be with me always. And I believe that the more I preach that gospel, the more I use that scripture, the more Jesus is with me. There was another day where I was actually late for where I was going, so I had to take a mini cab. I got in the car. I was just coming on the back of a Sunday, having praised God and just wishing the whole world had become taken over for Jesus. And I looked in the front of the taxi where the driver was sitting and he had a, a, a statue on the dashboard. And I asked him, I said, what is that? He, he threw back an answer with confidence, saying, it's my God. To my surprise, it almost felt like a Holy Ghost challenge. So I just said to him, I just started sharing the things about Jesus and what Jesus had done for me and what his word actually said. Within 20 minutes, to my joy and surprise, he prayed the salvation prayer and received Jesus as his personal friend and saviour. We drove to his house and I gave him some tracks, visited him that, him that night also. I was just excited. Again, Matthew 28 verse 20 had come alive, go into all the world and preach the gospel and baptise in the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. So I was you know, just enjoying the fact that this verse that Jesus said, the last command, the thing he said before he went, was becoming more and more real daily in my life. So this scripture is powerful, effective, needed in my life on a daily basis.